Well, for most of the year, I have been avoiding cold weather. Well, weather extremes, I should say, but especially cold weather is what I have been trying to avoid the most. But tonight, uh, my luck has run out a little bit. Uh, it's going to be 25 degrees here for the low tonight. So I need to kind of get the van prepared. I'm going to take you through what I do just to make sure I stay warm. Do I seem worried? No, I'm, I'm not really worried. Just I, I get a few things I got to do just so I know I'm comfortable. So I've got about an hour before sundown, so I figured now's a good time just to get the heater unwrapped, make sure it's working. I put it away uh, thinking that I wasn't going to need it. I've got plenty of blankets and a big down duvet, so that should be enough for most uh, little cold spells in the spring. But 25 does scare me a little bit just because this is an uninsulated van and the idea is that I'm going to avoid anything under freezing, but I can handle under freezing weather for a few days at a time without any big bother. And that's because I do have this Olympian Wave 3 heater and I've got it kind of bungee corded up here and it's on a flat panel TV mount. Boy, this angle makes it look really messy here. I guess it kind of is. Uh, I've got a lot going on back here, but... Um, Anyway, this, uh, this heater, I really didn't have a great place to put a heater, and so I just came up with the idea of using a flat panel TV mount. I mounted it on here, and that way I can kind of just move it around and angle it around. Uh, and then when I'm not using it, it just stays bungee corded back to the wall and out of the way. And then uh, I should buy a proper cover for it, but I've just been keeping a piece of carpet and an old uh, pillowcase that is shrunk down too small to fit my pillows. Okay, so you can run these heaters on the little green bottles of propane, but I don't like to do that because they're really expensive. So I've got a couple of two gallon bulk propane tanks. They sit under my bed. I like them down there because I have a floor vent. So if there's a leak or anything that I find the gas just falls down through the floor vent. It really does. Uh, so it's basically like having them in a vented locker, basically. This is the locker, vents down there. Hasn't been a problem. I also think that in using the green bottles versus the regular uh, bulk tanks, I think the bulk tanks are safer because I don't like being cold. I do keep a couple of green bottles on hand at all times just because I don't like to run out of propane. So I've got a shutoff valve on this, and I'm just going to turn that on. So now I just need to, since it's been off and the line has been bled through, I just need to bleed through gas through the line. That usually takes a few minutes, and you can hear the gas coming through, and then you'll start to smell it a little bit, but it takes a little bit when you... Uh, when you have it shut down just to get it started back up again, which is why I want to do this now. I'm not going to turn this on until later, but I just want to make sure it's ready to go uh, for when I get cold later. That usually doesn't fire up that quickly, so I'm happy to see that. This heater is fairly old. I think it's um, five years old. So, you know, and I don't know how long they last necessarily, uh, I know that if you don't keep them covered and you get dust in the little chamber here that it can cause them damage. And you can see I'm kind of leaning back now and squinting because when you start these up for the first time, they, there it is, they kind of, they kind of do that little uh, explosion kind of, and it's just what they do. Um, you kind of get used to it, but... Uh, <laughs> It is a little startling if you're if you're not used to it, but I usually kind of just get back and you know give it some room. It's feeling good right now. Uh, I've been outside all day and I am like my hands and my face feel kind of windburn, so this is feeling pretty good uh, to me right now. But so it works. I'm just going to shut it off. And how I shut this off is I turn the I turn the shutoff valve off, and then I wait for the gas to work its way through the line and then once it does it you'll stop getting heat out of it and then at that point i'll turn the dial to the off position i just don't like leaving gas in the line 
I turned you around here because I was going to say, even if I didn't have the heater, I would still fare okay because I've got this pretty decent uh, down duvet. And this is just an inexpensive one I bought at Ikea several years ago. I got tired of just kind of being in a big envelope of a, a sleeping bag. And I kept buying bigger and bigger sleeping bags and... It just seemed like no matter how big the sleeping bag was, oversized the sleeping bag was, you're still zipped up in this kind of envelope or pocket. And I just found that it was just kind of restricting and I got kind of tired of it. I tried using the sleeping bag without the zipper zipped up and that seemed like it helped a little bit, but um, I just really like the down a lot better. Uh, it's a whole lot warmer and if the temperature changes a little bit and it gets a little bit warm, I don't roast uh, under the down duvet like I did in the sleeping bag. So I'm sold on a down duvet. I uh, kind of wished I bought one sooner, but um, you know, you live and learn. I really didn't want to spend the money on it, but Ikea's got decent duvets for not a terribly expensive price. Uh, and then I use uh, flannel sheets year round and that may seem kind of strange, but I just find that they are comfortable in the summer, same as in the winter. You know, they keep me warm in the winter, but also they seem to kind of regulate my body temperature in the summertime. So I like a flannel sheet, good flannel sheet. And then I've got this really big, heavy acrylic blanket uh, I got from Mexico years ago. And actually, I think a family member bought it for me years ago. I should be precise here. And then another little cotton blanket. And you see a theme here. I really like natural fibers. I like this acrylic acrylic blanket because it's so heavy and warm, but everything else is pretty natural uh, fiber-wise. Um, even the duvet cover I have is 100% cotton. So I just find it's the best way to go to keep my body temperature regulated over the night. If things get warm, if things get cold, uh, those kind of dips and everything in temperature, I just find it's much better to have cotton. I know, I know, I'm the weirdo. And then if all else fails and the heater stops working and I'm in a really crazy cold place, uh, I do have my old sleeping bag. And this one I bought at Bass Pro Shops uh, years ago. It was quite expensive, it was about 100 bucks. So I don't really wanna get rid of it. I hang on to it just for those cases when I'm in a really, really cold environment. And if I happen to run out of propane, I know I've got a good heavy sleeping bag that I can just get out. Uh, since I don't really use it, it just is basically cushioning now. I just keep it under my mattress here. I always like to have a backup because you never really know. Uh, something could happen to the heater and uh, that could be bad if I didn't have uh, something else if I'm in a really cold area like tonight. 25 degrees to me is cold. Now I can be a little bit stubborn at times and there's always little things that people tell me, oh, you got to try this and you got to try that. And one of those things that I just did not want to try for a very long time was the old hot water bottle trick. And when I finally did buy a hot water bottle, I kind of wished I'd bought one before because it really does work. The one downside to this is, you know, you're wasting water and you're wasting fuel to heat up the water. And so this is not something I like to use, especially when I'm out in the national forest like I am now. I don't want to waste water because I don't want to have to go back into town and get more water and I don't want to waste fuel because I want the fuel for the heater and for coffee, of course. Uh, I want the fuel mostly for coffee and food and then heater, of course. So uh, yeah, I don't use the water bottle thing very often, but if I'm in a city and I've got access to lots of water, I absolutely use the hot water bottle thing. So my feet are always cold and so it's really nice just to fill up a hot water bottle with hot water, put it down at the foot of your bed and let it warm that up. I do have some fuzzy socks and I bought these because they were advertised as keeping your feet really super warm and they're pretty worn now. I've had these for quite some time, but uh, they're really fuzzy on the inside and supposedly they're the best sock in the world and, and everything. And I don't find them to be warm. Uh, they're polyester 
and it gets back to that natural fiber thing. I, I just don't find polyester socks to be warm at all. So like right now I'm wearing some wool socks and they're not 100% wool, the ones I'm wearing right now, but I find them to be a lot warmer and they're about half the thickness of these. So I do keep these around. I keep these as like house slippers. So you've probably noticed by now that I'm wearing my down sweater and my toque. So yeah, I will wear a toque if it's really cold out, but it's got to be really cold out because I really don't like having any kind of hat on my head. I bought this uh, sweater since it has a, uh, a hood on it, thinking that I would like it better than uh, wearing a toque. But unfortunately, I just seem to like the toque a little bit better when it's really cold. You know, it's nice to have the hood just connected to the sweater when you need it and just flip it up and it's there but uh, it's not nearly as warm as wearing a proper hat and this is not my favorite toque but it is mostly merino wool there again back to the natural fiber thing i just find it's a lot more uh comfortable and temperature regulating and all that so i've been wearing this one just because i knew i was going to be out uh, in the cold but i actually bought one specifically to sleep in. It's made by Smart Wool. You see the little robot there. I don't know why they have a robot as their company logo, but or maybe it's just a little human. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I really like their stuff. I said I bought this specifically just to sleep in because it's so thin and so lightweight and it's really stretchy and it's not uh, it's not constricting. Like this one is kind of constricting. Uh, which is why it kind of bugs me and it's not my favorite but uh this one is a really nice toque to wear at night and yes i'm i'm saying toque uh you may call this another name but uh i don't happen to like that name i think it's silly so i i don't even i don't even utter that uh word but i stay nice and comfortably warm under my blankets but if my head is out of course i find i get a headache uh just with the cold hitting my forehead uh, so I have a bunch of toques and I got them out here. I'm looking at them. I got a, like a pile of them. This is one of my favorites, but it's it's super warm and super heavy. And so I don't usually wear this one unless it's really cold out. Um, I have a couple from REI that I'm not crazy about, but they're cheap and they do the job if I need them to. Uh, this was my old work toque uh, made by Columbia. Columbia makes great stuff. <laughs> And another, they just keep going. Um, I got a little kick for a while buying toques whenever they were on sale. But the wool ones, and especially these smart wool ones, just fantastic. Okay, the sun has gone down. The temperature has dropped dramatically. Uh, I was cold before, now I'm freezing. But I'm not going to turn the heater on yet because uh, I need to cook dinner. And I find that even though this is a really tiny van, I find that running the stove and the heater at the same time uh, just makes too much heat and it just makes it too uncomfortably warm in here. So I'm just going to start off by heating up the van by making dinner. I never said it was going to be healthy dinner, I just said I was making dinner. So now it's after dinner time and cooking dinner really warmed up the van. It was nice and comfortable, but it's already starting to cool down just a few minutes after I'm done cooking and eating. And I just want to make a point about that because I see a lot of people say, oh, you can just use your stove to heat your van. And one, it's, it's inefficient. Uh, two, it's kind of dangerous to have an open flame. And three, uh, Back to the inefficiency thing again, it really just warms up the air and then uh, that goes away really quickly as soon as you turn the stove off. So a much better way to go is an actual heater. And I like these wave heaters because they're radiant heat. So they only really heat in uh, the direction that they're pointed. Whatever they're pointed at will absorb that heat and then radiate it back out again. So it gives you kind of a, a much better uh, overall heat than heating with your stove. Yeah, now that's cooling down in here, I want to get this back on. And I do want to make one other point, and it's that uh, I uh, do lose a little bit of heat out of my van because 
I always keep my vents open. So I've got my roof vent that stays open and my floor vent that stays open all the time. I never close those down ever, uh, especially if I got a heater running. I just, I'm not going to uh, close those down. I want the oxygen to be able to flow through here. And that's why I've got a floor vent as well as the roof vent so that I've got air, fresh air flowing through the van always. Uh, and I think that's an incredibly important thing. Now what I do on the really cold days is I'll just close down my roof vent so that it's open just about an inch or less. And that way I still have a flow of fresh air that's going through, but I'm not just letting all the heat escape out the roof because that's what's gonna happen. Uh, hot air rises and so if the vent's wide open, all the hot air will just go out before it even warms up anything in here. So since the wave heater takes a little while to warm up, I'm gonna make some coffee and that'll, that'll make sure I just get the van nice and warm before I go to bed. Um, I don't want the coffee, obviously. You know, I might not even drink it, but it's just, you know, I need to warm the van up. Okay, so this is not the end of the video. I am going to get ready for bed. Enjoy my coffee, obviously. Get ready for bed, uh, put my PJs on. I would put my PJs on right now, but you're still here and I need a little privacy for that. So uh, I will do that later and then I will check in with you in the morning and we'll see how I fare. How do you think I'll fare? Do you think I will suffer or do you think I will sleep soundly and warmly through the night? Well, good morning. Uh, first off, uh, you might want to just keep your distance because I haven't brushed my teeth yet. So yeah, sorry about that. But uh, I had a nice night. I stayed nice and toasty warm all night last night. Uh, part of that was because I was wearing my sleeping toque here. And uh, yes, I am wearing a union suit. These are my unorthodox pajamas that I crack out when it's really chilly. Uh, and I did wear my wool socks. Uh, I did run the heater all night long, of course. Uh, and I woke up about 2.30 in the morning and just checked the temperature. And it seemed like it was getting down to uh, about freezing. And so I didn't kind of like that because of the electronics. So I went ahead and bumped the heater up to high. Uh, these Wave Olympian heaters have two settings. So there's a, a low and a high and that's it. So I turned it up to high and let it run at high all the rest of the night. And that did seem to help. Uh, brought the temperature up a little bit. I didn't necessarily need the heater up on high. I was just really worried about uh, electronics and things like that. But I generally try to avoid temperatures under freezing. Uh, so last night, it, I think it really did get down to 25 degrees. And uh, of course, it does stay a little bit warmer in the van, even if I don't have the heater on. But uh, that's pretty cold uh, for me. Uh, usually, as soon as the temperature drops under 40 degrees, I want to have the heater on. Uh, I don't want to just rely on my blankets and things. I, I need the heater on to be comfortable. I've actually been down in the t into the teens in the past, and those are not temperatures that even running the heater on high that I'm usually comfortable. So I'm thankful that last night went well. And tonight, it's supposed to be uh, quite a bit warmer. I think the low tonight is going to be 32 or 35. So I'm not really phased about that at all. So uh, yeah, I'm just thankful that got through the cold here. And uh, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.